Hello, my name is Sartam Chernyshov and I am software engineer at Talos Systems. Today I'm going to show you the new feature of Talos CTL command which is called Talos Interactive Installer. Uh, this is terminal based uh, interface which is based on apply config um, functional we have which allows you to uh, configure your node which is running in uh, maintenance mode. To enter maintenance mode you can for example use ISO images we provide uh, and for today's demo I will actually use uh, VirtualBox VMs uh, which are going to uh, be booted from Talos ISO which I got from uh, our GitHub project uh, releases. So let's uh, get started. Uh, here we ha I have two VirtualBox VMs. Uh, they are both the same. Uh, they have uh, two gigabytes of um, RAM, um, and they use Bridget networking. Uh, they have um, Talos MD64 mounted as secondary master, and also uh, the only difference here is that the first uh, machine has one disk and the second one has two disks. Now we should see that uh, Talos is booting and it will pause, it pause in maintenance mode and will wait for um, configuration to be supplied to continue booting. Um, and the command I will use look like this. Uh, so it's Talos CTL apply config. Then I have an um, insecure flag because the machine in maintenance mode doesn't have any configuration and no certificates. And so um, I have to disable this uh, verification. You can also use fingerprints if you want. But for like really simple, like to keep uh, things simple, I will use just in secure mode. And then I type uh, interactive mode flag. And then I have the node name. And here we go. Um, this is um, the installer uh, itself. You can see that uh, it provides you a way to change the image name. Uh, it also can um, help you to pick the right uh, disk uh, for installation. Uh, so this is the second machine that has two disks and uh, I can actually switch between them. And here is the next tab. Here we have machine type. Um, so as a, as that's a first node. Uh, you can only choose from control plane. But if you expand the cluster, you should be able to pick from two different types. It's either control plane or worker. And also, you can change the cluster name. You can change a control plane point and select the Kubernetes version you want to use. And here we have a network configuration um, where you can define host name, your DNS domain for Kubernetes DNS, and also, you can pick from, right now, it's only two different CNI plugins. Um, so it's Flannel, which is default, and Cilium. And you see it actually supports mouse, but if you don't have mouse support, it should be possible to navigate using tab or uh, any other options. So Control b and Control m allows you to switch between different uh, tabs as well. So let's uh, click install and see what happens. And here we go. Uh, the configuration was uh, generated on the node and then the node uh, apply configuration was called. And uh, also we um, updated the local configuration for Talos CTL. So when this node starts, I will be able to access this node using Talos CTL command and query any uh, stays from this node. Uh, 
now you see that this node is actually starting. It's uh, trying to pull to pull the image from uh, the registry, and as soon as it starts, um, I will be able to expand this cluster. So to expand the cluster, I will need to run Talos CTL, apply config, insecure, uh, interactive. And here I will need to specify the next node I want to um, configure. Will be node uh, at IP uh, 30. And this is an important parameter which I need to specify. Uh, this is the node which will be used to generate the configuration for the next node. Um, this way it will be able to get the certificates, authorization, uh, tokens, and all the things it needs from this already configured node. So the next configured node will be able to join the cluster. So it looks like this second node um, has started the gRPC uh, should be able to to get the configuration from this node. Um, and uh, here we have the configuration for the second one. As you remember, uh, we had only a single disk there, so it's the same here. And yeah, I will use pretty much the same configuration for it, but I will choose a different type. I will use worker type for it. And here we don't have a CNI configuration because um, when you already created the cluster, you can change this setting. Let's try and install it. It looks like it worked. Um, and it's now booting into Talos. Meanwhile, we can check um, what is the state of the first node. So let's try running Talos CTL command. I will use services uh, CLI command here to check the state. Uh, so node should be 29. Looks like it's still starting kubelet. Let's let's actually pull the configuration for uh, kubectl meanwhile. I will overwrite it and should fail, I guess. Let's see what's the state. Oh, it's running. So but not quite. Still waiting. So it looks like the first node is still pulling the image from the registry, but the second one is almost almost there. And there we go. At least it has appeared in the list of nodes, but it's not ready yet. Should be able to become 
ready as soon as Uncle Don node finish successfully. And now it's ready. So we should get the list of pods, for example. Should be empty, but if we get from all M spaces. It looks good to me. Let's wait until the second uh, machine finishes booting. And it's, also, it's already appeared in the list of nodes. So I think it should become ready shortly. Uh, so I gave it some time to finish up all the internal processes of booting up uh, systems and now I can query the nodes one more time. And uh, both of them are ready. And if you get the list of pods, you will see that all of them are healthy as well. And uh, that basically gives us two nodes cluster, which is fully operational and ready for use. And um, to expand cluster, you can actually use this command one more time and add any amount of nodes to it. This can be a handy tool to play around and try it out. Um, and that basically summarizes this demo. Uh, for any more resources, um, you can refer to our documentation. And you can also go to our Slack channel to ask, ask any questions uh, about this. And that's it. Thank you for watching.